Welcome to Taming Python tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn how to create random numbers in Python. Let's get started with coding. I am going to take an empty folder and I am going to open this with Visual Studio Code. Ok, my folder is open in Visual Studio Code. Now I am going to create a new file by this new file button and I am going to name it something like example.py first we learn how to create a random integer between two numbers so for this i'm going to import a model called random i'm going to use the function randint to create a random integer between two numbers i just have to write random dot randint of the two limits so for me like i want to create a random number 10 and 60 so i'm going to write random dot randint of 10 comma 60 so that's it. Now I'll get random integer between 10 and 60. So let me assign it to a variable say x x equal to random dot randint of 10 comma 60. So let me see the results by printing this out. I'm going to write print. Now I'm going to print my random number. So I've saved this code using control S. And now I'll play this code using this play button at the top right. Yeah, now you can see the result random number between 10 and 60 is 30. So I'll run this code once again. I'm getting a number 41. I'll run this code once again. I'll get a number 30. So this way we have successfully created a random integer between two numbers using randint function of the random module. The second thing I want to show you is how to create a random decimal number between two numbers. For this, I am going to use the same random module and I am going to use the function uniform. So, using the random.uniform function, you can create a random decimal number between two numbers. So, I will just modify my print statement. Yeah, so random decimal numbers between 10 and 60 is. So, let's see what our output will be. Yeah, you can see I got a number. 41.3 random decimal number between 10 and 60 is 41.5 and I'm going to play it again. I'm going to see something like 5.6. I'm going to play it again. I'm going to see something like 31.2. So you're getting random numbers between two numbers which are specified by you and those are decimal numbers. So we have achieved this using the uniform function in the random module. Let us say my requirement is to create six random numbers between 10 and 60. So I can use something like this. I will use a list comprehension here. So let my list be lst. I am just giving a variable name. lst equal to, I am going to open my square brackets and I am going to write random dot randint of 10 comma 60 per x in range of, suppose I want to create 8 numbers. So that's it random dot randint of your two limits for x in the range and the number here is the number of digits or the number of numbers you want to get so now lst should be the list that contains eight random numbers which are integers between 10 and 60 so now let's print out my result all right i've saved my code using control s now I am going to play my code using this play button at the top right. Yeah, now you can see random numbers between 10 and 60 are and you got some 8 numbers because I have given a range of 8. Ok, now let's try to just modify this and play with it. I will just use rand, instead of rand int I am going to use uniform. So now I will get decimal numbers between 10 and 60 and I just want to print something like 4 numbers. So I will give range 4. And now I'll save my code using Control S and I'll play using this play button. So now yeah, you got four numbers between 10 and 60. So that's how you can create a list of random numbers. Uh, using uniform you can create decimal numbers and using rand int you can create integer random numbers. So in this video we will learn three things which are create a random integer using rand int, create a random decimal value using uniform and create a list of random numbers using a list comprehension in my blog post i have used for loop also so be sure to take, check it out i will leave the link of my blog post in the description be sure to check it out hope you like this video thank you for watching